Welcome to the Trident Analyst tutorial on Auto Pole Detection. With the Auto Pole Detection module, you can detect poles from your laser data. The module analyzes specific shapes and densities of the point clouds, detects the XYZ positioning of poles, and creates a point at the base of each detected pole. Specific filter parameters are used to decrease false detections such as tree trunks and other objects that can be mistaken as poles. To begin detecting poles from your laser data, Load the clip you would like to work with in Trident Analyst. Launch the Auto Pole Detection Module. From the Tools menu, select Extension Module Manager. Then click the Load checkbox for Auto Pole Detection. Click the Add button and select the laser files that you would like to work with. You can select more than one file, but for this tutorial, I will select just one file from my right laser scanner. Click Open. Next, set the filter options for detecting the poles. The max lateral offset is the lateral distance covered from the laser scanner. In this case, the software will detect poles within 10 meters to the right and left of my laser scanner. The min height is the minimum height of the pole you would like the software to detect. In this case, I would like the software to find poles with a minimum height of 2 meters. The max width is the maximum diameter of an object to be considered a pole. I would like the software to consider objects that have a diameter of 1 meter or less. The max incline angle is the maximum angle for a pole. In this case, I would like the software to look for poles with a maximum angle of 7 degrees and a minimum angle of 0 degrees. And if you would like to limit the detection of poles to a specific section of the run, check Use GPS Time Limits and enter a start and end point. If you leave it unchecked, the detection will be done for the whole laser file listed in the box. Next, set the output settings. Select from the drop-down menu the pole layer you would like to save the generated data to. If you select Auto Create a Layer, the software will automatically create a layer with all the generated data for you. Then select the name of the field you wish to save the width and height data in. I will leave it as is. If you are performing the auto pole detection on an existing layer, you can have the software only add new items to the layer by checking the box next to Add New Items Only. The software will only search for new poles within the radius specified by the search buffer, which is 1 meter in this case. For new inventories, you would leave this box unchecked. Click Process to start the pole detection. The progress bar appears to show the status. When done, the message log will show you the number of poles detected. In this case, the software detected 19 poles. Advance through the clips to see the detected poles marked in red. You can also view the results in the 3D map. The red points are detected poles. As you can see, I have a lot of poles at the beginning and end of my run, and a few in the middle. That is it for this tutorial on auto pole detection. Watch the quality control techniques video to learn about performing the QA QC process on the detected results. Thanks for watching.